Here we go. The quintuple steps. He's done it before in the heats. But this time, we mean business. I remember this guy, Ben. He sort of looks like Super Mario, don't you think? He does. And just like the video game, you've got to negotiate your way through an obstacle course and get to the end and avoid danger along the way. Oh! Rides those two jolts down nicely and moves very quickly onto the spinning log. This course is tough. Need speed, need agility, need balance. Oh, and he's through there. Too good. You've got to have a great leap on you to get to the cargo net. And he does. He hits the net hard, but he hangs on. That's an interesting technique. I know exactly what he's doing there. He's tightening up the T-shirt so the T-shirt does not fall into the pool because if any part of you or any part of your clothing does, that means you're out. I love the thinking that's gone into that. He's not just got strength, he's got brains this lad as well. And he's got determination because he was in a car accident and broke his neck less than two years ago. Tough as. This guy is really good. He's light and he's strong. He's also got awesome core strength and that's going to come into play on the tyre swing. OK, here he goes from the rope onto the first tyre. This obstacle has claimed many victims, but he's got good grip. He's quick, he's smart. And now he'll have a shot at climbing the wall. He nailed the 4.2 metres in the heats, but he needs to do it again tonight. And you'll see Becky's using the crowd to fire himself up, and he's there. Alex Matthews on top of the wall again. But it's not over yet for the man with the mo. Many of the obstacles in the first part of the course, they'll be familiar with, Ben. They know what it's all about. However, there are obstacles like this one that they've never seen before. It's the ring jump now. The pipe climber caused him some hairy moments in the heat. The transitions in particular, if you remember. It'll be interesting to see how much he's learned from that. This is where his light frame will come into play. We've seen the big lads, we've seen the muscle-bound ones, but you've got to carry them muscles round the course. Alex Matthews, he's strong, but he's lean, he's supple. Yeah, he showed a surprising amount of upper body strength in the heat, Freddie. He's going to need it on this transition. He's on the final ring, tries to get over the peg, but struggles. A few have done the same right there. Come on, Alex, come on, Alex. Yes, Alex! That ring can get hooked in all sorts of awkward places. And this is where the strength comes into play because he'll be tired now. Those arms will be burning. Oh, incredible stuff. Alex becomes only the third ninja to make it this far. The 33-year-old from Western Australia now stealing himself for the pole grasper. Look at his forehead. He's not even broke sweat. There's not even a drip of sweat coming off his moustache. This lad's cool. This lad's calm. This lad's figuring it out. This lad is getting through the Ninja Warrior course. But can he get through to the final? He's looking a little bit lost here. He needs to find his way through and find it fast. Two more poles to grasp, and then you're back on dry land. He's straining a little bit. But if he can just complete this without falling into the water, Alex Matthews is going to get a shot at the chimney climb. Push back, push back, push back! And he will. And every muscle will be aching, begging for him to stop. He needs one last big effort. The crowd up on its feet, cheering him on. Come on, Alex! The end is in sight. Come on, get that moustache to the top of the chimney. Up to level five, up to level six. Using his shoulders, using his legs, using his feet. He's up there, he's done it. It's the buzzer.